This is part 12 of C-Sharp interview questions and answers video series. In this video, we'll discuss the difference between int and int32 in C-Sharp. This is a very basic and a common interview question. int32 and int are synonymous. Both of them allow us to create an integer that is 32-bit long. int is shorthand notation, that is, it's an alias for int32. When declaring an integer in a C-Sharp program, most of us prefer to do it using int keyword over using int32. Now, whether we use int keyword or int32 to create an integer, the behavior is going to be identical. In both of these cases, we are creating an integer variable that is 32-bit long. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So to create an integer variable, it's very common for us to do something like this, int i equals 10. Now look at this. When I hover the mouse over this int keyword, it's actually system.int32 structure, which means I can either say int i equals 10 or int 32i equals 10. In both of these cases, we are actually creating an integer variable called i that is 32-bit in length. Now, the only place where int 32 is not allowed is when creating an enum. Now, to create an enum, we would do that using enum keyword followed by the name of the enum. Let's call it test. And by default, the underlying type of the enum is going to be integer. But let's say we want to be explicit about it and we want to specify the underlying type. Now, let's use int keyword like that. And then let's say member is xxx and the value is 1. Now, look at this. When I build the solution, notice the status bar, build succeeded, no compilation errors. Now, again, if we hover the mouse over, notice that it's actually system.int32 structure. So if I use int32 instead of int, look at this. We have the threads quickly there, which means we have a compilation error right away. So here, when creating enums, int32 is not allowed. We will have to use int. However, there are some minor differences between int and int32. One of the differences in readability. When we use int32, we are being explicit about the size of the variable. Okay, and to use in 32, either we need to use, you know, using system declaration or we have to specify the fully qualified name that is system.int32, whereas with int keyword, it's not required. So look at this. We already have this using system declaration here. And since we have that using system declaration, you know, we don't have any compilation error if we build this. Now, what do you think is going to happen if I remove that using system declaration? We are going to get a compilation error saying that the type or namespace uh, name int 32 could not be found. Okay, so one option is to use that using system declaration or we have to at least use the fully qualified name that is system.int32. Okay, but when we use the int keyword, we don't have to do that. You know, we can simply say int i equals 10. And in spite of not having that using system declaration, we can still compile the solution. Now, the interviewer may also ask you, what is the difference between keyword string and system dot string? You know, again, there's no difference. It's very much similar to, you know, what are the differences between uh, int and int32. So just like that, there's no difference between uh, string and system dot string. String is an alias for system dot string. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.